Thank you for choosing Glassbond Self-Adhered FRP Wall Panels. This video guides you through basic steps to ensure a satisfactory installation. Before installation, consider required supplies and equipment. This includes a filter mask and hearing protection for cutting or drilling. Avoid excessive joint compound and remove any dirt, dust, or debris. The substrate must be clean and dry. Do not use liquid cleaners or water. Each piece of glass bond trim consists of a base plate and face plate, except the outside angle, which is surface mounted. Apply base plates before finishing with trim face plates. Landing zone markings maximize panel placement, identifying face plate coverage and expansion joint requirements. End caps are for finishing panel edges and around door frames. Install end cap back plates before applying panels around a door frame. Begin using all trim pieces by peeling off about one foot of the release liner on the back of the base plate. Begin in a corner of the room. Measure and mark the wall. Set laser at the mark to ensure panels are plumb. Utilizing the inside corner back plate, cut trim to size using hand shears. Peel a foot of the release liner from the back plate of the trim inside corner. Starting at the top, push the inside corner down firmly peeling the remainder of release liner as you work the trim base down the wall. Apply end cap trim at doorways. Lay the panel on a sawhorse finished side down. Cut from the panel's backside for cleaner edges. For cutouts, measure and cut radius corners for any utility fixtures. Trim the panel to proper size for expansion and contraction. Dry fit before removing release liner. Working from the four-foot edge, peel off the release liner evenly at a 180-degree angle. Consider using a cardboard or PVC cylinder for an even release. Peel the entire release liner from the back of the panel. Use a floor spacer to keep the panel off the floor. Curve the panel vertically away from the wall and approach the substrate at a 45-degree angle. Align the leading edge into position within the printed landing zone area, allowing for adequate space for expansion. Once in a level plumb position, lay the rest of the panel against the substrate. Apply hand pressure to the panel, smoothing out any uneven areas. Using a laminate roller, apply uniform pressure, removing air pockets by working the entire panel down and out towards the edges. Slide the non-adhesive side under the installed panel aligning the panel edge to the landing zone on the trim. Push the back plate down firmly, peeling the remaining release liner as you work the trim down the wall. Continue by preparing the next glass bond panel, removing the release liner, installing it on the wall, and rolling. Starting at the top of the wall, tack the face plate trim into the base plate with a rubber mallet. Using a laminate roller, fully snap the division bar face into place by rolling from ceiling to floor, you will hear a repeated clicking sound as you roll downwards. Repeat the sequence of these steps with cutting and applying trim base, panels, and trim face plates. Be sure to begin with inside corners and pre-apply doorway trim. For more detailed glass bond installation instructions, please visit glassbond.com.